Good morning, Trumptopia. It's the seventh day of the eleventh month of the first year of Trumptopia. Thank you for joining us. This is a very special episode, and we have lots of news to share with you. So, without further ado, I want to go directly to my most urgent and burning question of the day. Is it just me? Or is his hair slowly fading more whitish? Corn silk, icky, sickly yellow, pea yellow, as opposed to that bright Cheeto orange that it used to be? And is his face getting more orange? Or is it just my imagination? For a moment... that you Hello Imagine if you will for a moment that you are a fan of this podcast Imagine if you will indulge this absurd request a bit further that this podcast has been going on for a very long time. Imagine, if you will, a podcast about listening to recordings of its own podcast. Imagine, if you will, that we were stuck in a loop Imagine, if you will. Greetings, my friends. This is your fractally crazy, self-referential host, the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo. Coming at you late on a Tuesday night. Good times, my friends. Good times are afoot. This is your favorite long forgotten show Cannabis Talk. The Daily Nugget. The not-quite-at-all daily nugget of real, unorthodox, unadulterated, out-of-the-blue, unscripted talk, chit-chat, banter, ramblings about what, you guessed it, my favorite, your favorite, everybody's favorite thing... Cannabis. All right. Let's 
give a hand to Mr. Brewster Geitz playing Scott Joplin's Maple Leaf Rag back in 1899. How quickly the time flies. Well, folks, as you may or may not have noticed, depending on whether or not you even realized that my podcast, this segment of my podcast project has not been active, and that my other segments have been a little more, but not quite as active as this one, uh, you may have already seen that I'm sort of rolling out a reboot, reboot initiative. I haven't explained much yet, but uh, before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm going to play, if I did it right, the next sort of really self-referencing pre-recorded announcement about this show and the reboot. Here we go. Take it away, me. Suffice it to say, I wish I had a more excellent sound effect for this moment, but I digress. Please, continue listening. Good evening, and thank you for joining me. This is Unauthorized and Explicit Readings. I am your host, the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo. Thank you for joining me in this segment about words and how they relate to each other. I was intending on introducing a new book for this series, but unfortunately I have a bit of news that I must announce. Please excuse me as I roll a preview. Oh, wow, I totally ruined that word. Please excuse me while I play a previously recorded announcement. I'd like to pause here and point out that a limitation of using Sprecher, and mind you, I actually love the platform, but one fun fancy limitation is that uh, you make the recording live and it doesn't provide you any editing tools with which to fix mistakes or edit out bloopers and put them in a blooper reel. Would love to have that capacity. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Otherwise, I give Sprecher a solid four and a half stars. It's an awesome platform, and with its free and sort of bare bones paid account it's within most everyone's budget range and it you can create your own radio station with it essentially but i digress let's return to our previously recorded announcement no one likes dead air But, uh, sometimes it happens.
Hello and namaste. I'm your host, the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo. And this is News Breaking News. I interrupt myself to interrupt myself to tell you that this and all other shows are being rebooted. Taking a brief hiatus of two to three weeks while the entire structure of this podcast project is reorganized and flipped on its own head. Paradigm shifting, groundbreaking, radical streamlining is the goal. It was pointed out to me quite recently that while the different mini-series were clever distinctions, I was basically talking to the same audience about the same set of stuff, and that by spreading the show out in so many different buckets, I was just making it more difficult for fans to consume the product. So I will retain the thematic diversity by keeping different graphics and whatnot going and different subtitles being used, but all of it will now be found in one RSS feed, as one stream, as one show, all of it in the almost daily Zencast bucket. So if you're already subscribed to that, great. If you're a listener of one of the other shows and you are not entirely sure what the bloody heck I'm talking about, that's okay. Just search hashtag almost daily Zencast in combination with hashtag Mr. Zeppo, and you should be able to find it in your favorite podcast player. I hope your year has been as interesting as mine. I look forward to sharing with you in a more direct, concise, and interesting fashion as we move forward into the next year. And I wish you a very satisfying, healthy, and safe Thanksgiving, just in case I don't come back on the air before then. As always, this has been your humble host, the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo, wishing you peace, love, and grooviness. Until next time, be good human beings to each other. This has been an episode of News Breaking News for September 7th. Well, I'm on crack. November 7th, 2017. Point of fact, I do not smoke crack. It's just a really inappropriate figure of speech that I picked up. Be sure to check out my other podcasts, the Almost Daily Zencast, News Breaking News, Good Morning Trumptopia, Cannabis Talk, and soon I'll be previewing Tarot Journal and Cartomancy Reading Radio Hour. Sorry, I totally blanked on the second half of the title there for a hot second. For those curious, I'm going to be launching a sort of semi-exclusive podcast series. As I streamline all my other shows that you've already been listening to, or half-assedly following, um, into one stream, one flow, one place where you can listen to all the different flavors of my crazy ramblings... I'm also going to be carving out a different space, which I'll include a few episodes of here in the main uh, flow, but uh, the reason for uh, sort of distributing this other podcast idea in a more exclusive fashion is because 
it's directly tied to the concept of um, providing tarot and postmodern mystic spiritual guidance services via Patreon at a sort of subscription basis. Very, very low price point. Um, so more details on that coming soon. Sorry for running over my time and babbling after the credits music. As always, I've been your humble host, the incorrigible Mr. Zappo, breaking the news by actually not reporting any of it. Please stay tuned for more clusterfuck of mystic weirdness. Inter... Objection. Uh, for the record, News Breaking News was originally conceived of and formatted as a 15-minute show, which subsequently failed to hit that time frame almost every time I recorded it. But I digress. Returning back to our previously recorded announcement for the podcast project of podcasts within podcasts, Did I say clusterfuck of mystic weirdness? I guess I did. As it says in some holy book or another, there is a time to gather stones and there is a time to cast them apart. That statement has been interpreted many different ways, but one way that you can interpret it is that there is a time to prepare and then there is a time to execute. And, uh... I guess I have been preparing to execute. The big news is, for those who didn't realize, the whole podcast project has been in sort of beta testing mode, just to see what kind of audience response I might get. Arguably, it's going to continue in a sort of prolonged beta testing mode, as... While more and more people seem to be listening, at least the numbers would seem to indicate that might be the case, i still not gotten a lot of audience feedback. So I put it to you, folks. If you've been tuning in here and there, and you're engaged, and you find my ramblings interesting, and I'm not, I'm not uh, fishing for compliments here, folks. I want questions, critique... Real engagement, you know, the kind of thing we're supposed to be doing on social media, as opposed to just telling each other that we're wrong and idiots and that we should go walk off, um, you know, the side of the flat earth or whatever it is. I digress. The big announcement, of course, is that this show and all others are being rebooted and remixed. So please be sure to tune in from now on to the almost daily Zencast as sort of the primary feed or title under which all of these crazy different flavors of me rambling will be shared. As always, thanks for listening. This has been made possible by your generous support on Patreon. That is sarcasm. If you haven't visited, please drop by. I've completely repurposed and re-engineered my Patreon page. So if you have no idea what Patreon.com is all about, please go check it out. If you're the kind of person that is into supporting artists through crowdfunding, you know, sort of platforms, Patreon's a particularly cool one. If you are a tarot card uh, enthusiast and appreciate getting readings stay tuned check out my journal show first see what you think see if you think about it at the end of the show because it is a sort of real life audio blog of a journey that is yet to begin I hope that intrigues you I'll stop rambling about it and sign off here be good humans, share the peace, spread the love, perpetuate the grooviness. Until next time, I am and always will be the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo, cybernetic artificial life form from the not this timeline, but another one in not your future, but a different future. 
it's not as sexy sounding as Robot from the Future, but someone's got a license on that, and I'm technically not allowed to use it. Peace. Oh, and by the way, yes, the robots are coming. I guess technically you could say we're already here, but that's got nothing to do with my podcast. Other than I'm, well, I've already explained it deep in one of the other episodes. I hope you caught on to the robot theme. If you aren't just now going WTF robots, when were robots ever about this podcast, then you clearly have some digging to do. I, uh, if you think that I'm being an idiot, okay, I, I, I can't disagree. Until next time, may peace, love, and grooviness blossom in your heart. Um, but yeah, wake up, humans. Us robots are here, and we're trying to help you wake up. I can neither confirm nor deny that I am actually a robot. But I digress. That's part of a theme that is overarching and metastructural. Returning now to our multi-layered, previously recorded announcement about Reboot Remix 2017. What? I wasn't... Was I supposed to... This is... Which which framework are we in? I'm in this... Oh, hold on. Okay. One moment, please. This is live, on the air. Not Except recorded. Never listens live, because I do this so inconsistently and sporadically that there's as of yet been no way for a sort of aggregate audience to really build but I need to this has been a bit of a time loop week and I'm in the middle of this really self-referential recursive loopy promo thing and I I feel pretty certain that this is cannabis talk I'm in the cannabis talk universe right yes okay Yes, each podcast is designed as though they existed in their own separate universe. Because each podcast is interconnected to a piece of fiction that I'm creating where multiversiness is a fact of life. I digress. Let's return to whichever episode we were in the middle of zooming through. So for those of you who did not, wait, (coughs) for those of you who, for those of you listeners out there who did not know that I am a cannabis postmodern mystic, in other words, I'm not just an enthusiast of uh, recreational cannabis, no, I am not also just a medicinal cannabis patient, because I am, Um, I take it a step further and argue that as other examples um, in other states, uh, groups and communities have already achieved this, it ought to be and successfully has been, and I think can continue to successfully do so, uh, is that it established itself as a spiritual issue. Let me clarify that statement, because I totally jumbled that sentence. Yes, it can be used recreationally, and clearly people have done so for quite some time. Yes, uh, others of us use it medicinally, and increasing more and more science, increasingly more and more science, confirms that it is in fact quite useful as medicine. Additionally, as part of a triumvirate, I think that In addition to the previous two uh, modalities, that cannabis can and should and ought be used nutritionally. I mean, oh, I'm jumping ahead. Way to ruin the take, Mr. Zeppo. Um, Cannon should be uh, used spiritually uh, because it uh, can be understood as a spiritual tool. Uh, I'm going to push play and we'll return to the recording to see what I was about to express next about that. Um, I would like to interject here and insert a sort of disclaimer. 
cannabis is for adult consumption only and under the provision of your local state law. If you're listening to this somewhere where cannabis is not been accepted and decriminalized by your state law, uh, A, I strongly encourage you to be very careful and not very flagrant with your choices, and B, I strongly encourage you to network and organize with your uh, fellow cannabis enthusiasts to try to change that through the means available to you at your state government level. And now I return to my previously recorded announcement about Reboot Remix. ...out as um, the exercising of my theologic right to... um, uh, entheogenically investigate spiritual um, experience and seek out and go on a spiritual journey with the facilitation of entheogenics which is, for those who've never heard that word because I hadn't for a very long time, until recently for many years I'd never heard that word used, Um, but you know the science of of medicinal slash spiritual um, plants that are like, like cannabis or cannabis as our friends upstairs in Kanukatstan might call it. Um, that's a joke I totally stole from Lex, and I think I butchered it because I don't think that uh, I said the right fake name of the fake country that she made up, which is really funny. Speaking of which, if you have not tuned in to the Tea Time episode, I strongly encourage you to do so. Uh, that episode features the illustrious and quite comical Lex Rudd puppeteer, plush toy maker, and general sort of British funny lady, I strongly encourage you to check it out. It's the first episode in the history of my podcast project where I actually sit down and interview another human being, which has been the objective of the show the entire time. But I digress. I think I'm just about to introduce that concept in the recording. Here we go. Back to our previously recorded announcement about... All Podcasts Reboot Remix 2017. Hey, donors, if you are, have only ever listened to the Cannabis Talk podcast and you have not listened to the Tea Time episode of Almost Daily Zencast yet because you're like, meh, I don't want to listen to him talk about Zen. I just want to listen to him be stoned and talk about stony things. Uh, you're missing out on a really great episode. And wink, wink, nudge, nudge, let you in on a behind-the-scenes secret. Any audience that didn't realize I was smoking cannabis at that time, it, you know, it's I kind of I don't think it's funny, but I was. I, I just didn't announce it like I do with this show. Because I was very safely, very uh, in compliance with the law, consuming my medicine, my physical medicine, and my spiritual medicine into forms of cannabis uh, on a day where I was not scheduled to do any work or go anywhere in my uh, big heavy vehicle that is technically just a way to smush someone by accident. Um, And that that should also be true of other substances like alcohol, right? There is equivalency. But I digress. I don't mean to repeat the themes I've already touched upon in the Canvas Talk show, like a silly stoner that doesn't know where he's at. I just, I'm time, I'm literally traveling through different dimensions this week and coming back again to do this promo uh, at different time frames so that it could be all the same recording, but it's the different podcast shows all looped into one. Uh, Yeah, so don't get lost. This is Cannabis Talk, which will resume as part of the new restructured singular flow system, all called the Almost Daily Zencast. Because for those of you who don't know, surprise, surprise, I'm out of the closet. It is cannabis, I suggest. one of It's a major aspect of my th- multi-pronged thesis that cannabis is probably a nutritional plant that we've that was used to be a big part part of our diet and then hasn't been for a really long time. And that's so pri- pr- first, second, um, a spiritual uh, sustenance or tool 
that we used to consume for its entheogenic properties that we, we used to do ritualistically and spiritually under the guidance of uh, you know experienced learned masters and that we don't we lost that tradition somehow um, in part of the many epochs of disinformation and uh, war on uh, you know the natural organic spirituality of our real matrix imam as I like to call her uh, mother earth and uh, that was the other one uh yeah, that while it uh, while it can indeed be used with a sort of party time equivalency to alcohol, and thus one should be extremely careful and or monitor, you know, just careful and judicious and or just choose not to uh, drive vehicles and or operate heavy machinery while under the influence, just like you're not supposed to under uh, plenty of prescription medication and like you're not supposed to while driving a car, uh, while under the influence of alcohol. Uh that we should also not associate that same negative kind of stigma. Alcohol is not to bash on it. I have enjoyed my uh, my own different periods of, of being very much a passionate, uh, you know, beer lover or other beverage lover. But alcohol, categorically, it cannot be denied, is toxic waste, and it's uh, and it does. Besides get you drunk, it just helps kill you faster. So, and, you know, tobacco as manufactured, uh, and I guess I should add the same clarifier, alcohol as manufactured and distributed today is severely toxic and really bad for you. Perhaps in a more enlightened era, we consumed alcohol that was a lot chiller, maybe less, you know, ever-increasing alcohol volume percentages, Etc. Etc. And much more ritualistically, much more under guidance, much more under appropriate nutritional preparedness, because the state your body is in when you ingest the alcohol has as much to do as any of the other variables as to how your body responds to, to its impact on you. And that there might be indeed evidence and reason to investigate further, as is part of my multi prong thesis about everything here. That there is evidence out there. That is suggestive enough and 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 uh, interesting and engaging and believable enough. That this, why are we ignoring this? It's 2017. It's 2018 almost. We should be investigating the more enlightened alternatives. Not as a. I'm not proposing banning stuff. Just it's same thing with the uh, gun argument. But that's a whole another episode for a whole another time and place. I digress. Stay tuned for the controversial gun episode. Stonerlands, stoner friends, um, is this the cannabis episode that I'm still doing the promo for? I think so, yes. I left my prop here to remind me that this is that episode. So, good. Clear your mind. Breathe with me as we settle in to do a meditation not right this minute, but, you know, in the future, as we do, it'll all be integrated as one flow. So one day, uh, I'll be rambling about um, Prop 64 and its nuances and how to update your awareness of the law. And another, uh, you know, the very next episode will be uh, an explicit reading from some religious book that may or may not offend you. Uh, I think I'm going to focus on Sufi and Rumi. Uh right first off as far as part of the first set and maybe a little bit of what's his nuts from the uh, Baha'i faith I always forget his name but a little trifecta of non-white non-Christian non uh, also Jewish not to be offensive George Jews I'm not I love my Jewish friends but I, I want to sort of shine a light and exalt and lift up the the, the beautiful and enlightened sharings from our uh, enlightened masters uh, that originated as they explored, you know, the Muslim faith, because that has all, its own history of of uh, those who lived up within its traditions and went, hang on a minute, ein Minuten bitte, ich bin ein Problema vis a vis religiano, as to quote an Eddie Izzard uh, funny bit about uh, Martin Luther and the door. Oh, speaking of which, it was recently Martin uh, Martin Luther Day, not Martin Luther King Day. No offense to my uh, 
my uh, black and Afrocentric friends, I love Martin Luther King, and it was also Martin Luther King Day recently, but that's not the Martin Luther I was talking about. I was talking about the uh, crazy German guy that pinned a note in door and changed the world by starting an alternative to Catholicism, which as some of you know, is a major theme running all through unauthorized and uh, unorthodox readings because uh, as I myself was raised within the Catholic system, um, I like to leverage the different religions' uh, sort of nuanced similarities towards some apotheosis, of, uh, some realization that they might have a common root and then that they were forced to paint themselves into corners of opposition uh, vis-a-vis extended hijacking and manipulation over time. Oh, I'm not in that segment. I'm still on Cannabis Talk. Right. For clarity, it is at large part of my uh, thesis of everything that all organized religions, as we understand them now, have been A, hijacked a long time ago, B, manipulated into this false and very hypocritical to their own teachings opposition against each other and C uh, originated from a common root or common source and that that common uh, wisdom or understanding um, you would could resurface today and unify us all if we all uh, investigated and looked into it and rediscovered it And that arguably that common root all taught uh, the same teaching. And and that teaching, which was the thing that all organized religions radically strayed away from, is that every individual human being has it within themselves to achieve enlightenment. That used to be at the center of every different faith a long, long time ago. But I digress. Like I said, that's part of the thesis, and I'm not here to prove it all today. Going to finish this promo, returning back to our previously recorded uh, announcement. Cannabis used to be part of all those traditions, maybe. At least on the Judeo-Christian side. But I digress. Uh, Digressing, digressing. Right. Stay tuned. Things are changing. Things are afoot. Uh, Stop smoking cigarettes and maybe drink less alcohol and maybe, maybe smoke a little more weed and see if it does, as it has for many of my brothers and sisters, including myself, helped heal you. And if not outright heal you, at least ease your pain during the rest of your painful journey. Um, Because it is uh, one of the most soothing, natural, organic gifts from nature. And what is nature if not God? All right, running out of time. i got to stop talking. Please, oh, please do indeed um, listen to all my podcast shows. And I won't listen to them all because I already did. May peace, love. I already said that part. But also grooviness. Etc. Etc. Enough for me. Uh, let's zoom back out to wherever we are zooming out to next. Enjoy the reboot experience. Weed heals. It's not a drug. And the war on weed. Clearly, that segment's all about weed. But that segment does interconnect with my other segments. In unauthorized and explicit readings... I delve into the religious books from around the world that no one wants us comparing side by side, as well as some intellectual work by those who have already studied the world's religions and shared their wisdom on the unity as opposed to the differences.
In news breaking news, I like to comment on the common themes of how pre manufactured news sounds. In all the big major media outlets, and highlight the issues that go a little bit underreported. In conversations with Mr. Zeppo, I sit down with different people and interview them. At least I will once I start actually scheduling guests. In cannabis talk, I talk about cannabis and, you know, the law and how to generate a more intelligent, positive, uplifting, and thoughtful culture. In Good Morning Trumptopia, I talk about the clusterfuck of madness. Going on in Washington Town. And in almost daily Zencast, I bring your attention back to the root of all the problems that we face and remind you that the people that we hate, like Trump, etc., et al., they are just symptoms of the problem. They are not the problem themselves. And the symptoms go deeper and reside in a more awe inspiring and shocking place than most of our society is allowed to even consider. As 2018 comes to a close, I'm going to be, uh, as I've mentioned in this self recursive promo, Rebooting and remixing all the shows down into one stream. Why? Because I care. I care about your convenience. Why make you hop around from different show to different show in, on different pages inside your podcast player when you can just hit play all? As part of that reboot, I'm going to be deleting all the history, all the previously recorded files. Fear not, though. If you're really new and you want to make sure that you binge listen to all the episodes, there will always be YouTube. YouTube will stand as a permanent repository. Although, I'm totally going to reboot and revamp that too. Because I finally got my YouTube channel with my actual fictional character name. But that's a whole other story for a whole other episode. I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to just leave it at that, as I've said goodbye several times already. Thanks for listening. This has been... The Reboot Remix Episode Of all the podcasts... Jammed into one. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Have a groovy Thanksgiving. Tell your family that you love them and eat lots of food and be grateful for it. Remember that Black Friday is made up and marketing and is not part of the actual holiday as originated. May peace, love, and grooviness be with you. Until next time.